Hello and welcome to yet another session of Revit MEP by BIM Technologies. So in this session we are going to learn about the fabrication parts for ducts and ducts fittings as well as we will see how to add hangers and lifters to the ducts. So the duct uh, fabrication can be done. So we have taken this uh, this project with a template of mechanical and we are at 0 dash mech flow plan views. So for the fabrication parts for the ducts we need to load the fabrication services and parts to the project first. For that we need to go to the systems and in the systems we have this fabrication panel and here we have a button named as fabrication settings. Choose this button and as we choose this button the dialog box for the fabrication settings will be displayed. So the mechan the fabrication settings dialog box here has got three tabs as we have discussed earlier. So in the fabrication configuration tab you know there is a fabrication configuration drop down list select the Revit Imperial 2.5. So by selecting it you can see that there are different services which is loaded here. So I am going to select the ductwork 2 inch WG. 4 inch WG and that work. So these are some services that I have loaded here and along with it the parts that I am going to load here is for the mechanical that worked. So I am going to load the parts. So I choose the parts tab here and in the items folder I expand it and get the HVAC item go to the generic and I will get some hangers over here. So let's I take a profiled beard hanger the half strap hangers and then I will take a sheet metal component like a duct board let's say for the manufacturing so I have this duct board over here so I'll take a radius bend ra radius offset and rectangular branch and I would go with the duct accessories manufacturable here so I take a fire damper a plenum box and a round damper. For flex duct, go to the bot folder, take a flex duct. So you have got different types of parts that you can have. So with this you have configured the parts and now what you need to do you need to add it so there are two ways by which you can add it you can convert the actual design to fabrication by design to fabrication tool or directly invoke the palette so to invoke the palette you need to go to the fabrication part choose the fabrication part tool here and the palette will be displayed now you have got a straight duct so you can directly click on the straight duct and then place it so here what you can do is you can select the duct and you can see that there is a main primary end and there are width and the depth and you have the elevations as upper end elevation as 152 and minus 152 so you can increase the length so you can see the length has been increased or you can also click on the duct and change the edit parts so you have this you can change the width, the depth and the length. So th the length I need as 5 meters. So I can apply it. The length changes to 5 meters. Similarly, the fabrication settings, you have this specification that you have. Standard. You can go with the plus 4G and so on. So again, if you want to put some elbows here and if you want to add more ducts, let's say you have a duct here and you want to auto route it so you can right click root and fill select it and you see that and go with the green tick so with this you can see that how it is easy to convert the fabrication parts similarly you can have the reducing elbows you can have the transitions placed 
right? And you can have the drop cheek breaches. So you can add them at your convenience. You can see that if you go to the plan view of the mechanical, so it is easy to add these. So if you if you want to rotate it, so you can rotate it or you can always select create similar and space to rotate. So you have this option here and you can place them. So you can place it as you want. So let's say if you want to connect this, you can always go with routing option, route and fill. So select it, route and fill, select this and you see that it is. So you just move this ahead and then you can go with the route and fill, click and if you're okay with it, it's done. So this is how you can place different kinds of services along with you can have the hangers. So so the different properties can be seen so you can have you know the different services you have got in the services you can go with the fire dampers so you have the fire dampers you can place them within the duct so if it is not so you can take another it's a rectangular one so you're attempting to connecting con compatible connectors so probably you can place them and then you can go for the route and fill and see that how the connectors can be placed so there are some compatible connectors that needed to be worked now you can see how easily this can be done so hopefully and if any other parts needed to be so you can have a plenum box you can have the round damper you can have a flex duct so you have a plenum box, you have, if you select any one of the parts, you can add them and then you can create the fabrication detail. And the last thing that if you have a design of a duct, you can convert them into fabrication. Let's say I have this entire design of the duct that I am creating currently and if I want to convert them into fabrication I select one of them press the tab key and then I have this fabrication option over here design to fabrication and the entire model will be converted into a fabrication part so I hope this video will be helpful for you if you are now in a position to can create fabrication parts from your design. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel.